Hello, this is Dandy Reiner from Hatchfinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. Today, for the fly shop, I've been tying up some shaky bealies. Shaky bealie was created by a gentleman named Nick Nicholas out of West Yellowstone. He named it after another gentleman named Bealy. I believe this Bealy was a park ranger. And Bealy would get so excited about fishing that he would literally shake with enthusiasm. So here we have the shaky bealy. It's a soft tackle. We've got a crystal flash for the shuck, mallard for the tail. The dubbing is an ambered colored dubbing. Brown floss for the rib. Orange ostrich hurl for the thorax. And Hungarian partridge for the hackle. We're using a Dairiki 280 hook. This is a size 16. These work great in 14s and 12s. I'm using an 8 dot thread. The color is Rusty Dunn. I'm going to go ahead and make a thread base here. Just to the hook point. Um, first thing is I tie in my crystal flash and I'm using gold crystal flash. If you would like to use um, a, a pearl or um, a red, it uh, I don't think it matters too much. Just as long as you have a little bit of crystal flash. I have four strands. I'm going to tie it in at the end here, right at the hook point. I'm going to run my thread up to about two-thirds and I'm going to let this front part here just hang out for a minute. Run my thread back. I'm going to go ahead and trim off my, uh, my shuck. I just want a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe that's that might be a little too much. Let me take a little more just a little little bit of a shuck there. The next thing is the tail and that's mallard. Got a pretty mallard feather here. I'm gonna take a section of that and tie that right on top. Right on top of the crystal flash. A little bit longer than the crystal flash. Tie that in with a few good wraps. Snip off the excess. Now I'm going to tie in the rib, which is the brown floss. Once that's secured, go ahead and dub your body. Here's the dubbing I'm using. It's a nice amber color. Starting at the back, we make our wraps going forward, covering up the body. Add a little more. And you're going to go forward about two thirds. Come back a little bit, fill up any, any holes you might have. You can leave the thorax a little bit bulkier if you like. And for the rib, what I do is I twist it. This floss is a little on the thick side, so I'll twist it to make it thin. And then I reverse wrap. And the reverse wrap acts as reinforcement. It also shows off the segments a little bit better. So once you have three or four wraps on a size 16, go ahead and snip off your excess. Next step is your ostrich hurl. This is the thorax. Tie in right above the body there. A 
got about five wraps on this guy. That adds a really nice pop of color with this orange. Alright, and it's at this step here we'll go ahead and fold this back. And you want you don't want to fold it back to where it's laying like a wing. You want to collar it. And what that means is you want a few pieces on the side and a piece on the top. And make your wraps. I'm going to go ahead and trim this about the size of the body. And this crystal flash is another little flash of color there. The final step is the Hungarian partridge. These feathers I have, they're beautiful feathers, but they are on the dainty side, so I'm going to tie it in at the butt section here. I've peeled away any fuzzies, tie it in at the butt section, right behind the eye, in front of the in front of the ostrich hurl, trim away that little stem. If you choose to tie it at the tip of the feather, you can certainly do that. I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to do just one wrap on this size 16. If uh, you're tying a larger size, you can add another wrap or two. Just keep your wraps one in front of the other. Trim away my little tag end there. Very nice. Make a head with my thread. And then I'll get my whip finishers in here and put a few good night knots in. Very easy. Not difficult at all. I love using this fly trailing behind a caddis. So there it is. Very nice. There is our shaky beely.